Hell yeah. Yo, what's going on? Cuz by Reggie back with another video, and as you can see, we are in my new location. So in my last video, I was talking about how I have trade or change locations. So that's why I haven't really been dropping any videos in a while. But that's that's where we are now. So welcome. Uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, comment, like, share, dislike the videos if you dislike the videos, right? Um, so I'm actually in Solar Salon uh, in Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, opened up my studio maybe a week or two ago, right? Um, the main reason was to just kind of step out and do my own thing on a lower scale to see if, um, or to see the differences, to see if it's worth me being on my own. So at the shop that I was at, which is Diamond Cut, shout out to every barber there though, right? Uh, what I was doing there, we was a mainly a walk-in shop. Um, I had started to do appointments. So that's what kind of got me, you know what? What if I go somewhere where it's appointment only? What if I change my, um, my time to appointment only? How could I control my day, right? So that's mainly my focus. I wanted to raise my prices a little bit and the walk-in traffic is good. For any new barber, I suggest be in a shop that have that walk-in traffic, especially in the beginning, because that's a, a, a great way to build that clientele. Um, after a while, the clientele has been built. I am 10 years in now, so the clientele is pretty decent. And while I'm here, I can my social media presence and my uh, stuff I do in the city, it kind of helped me build more clientele. So that's what I wanted to kind of do. I wanted to be more of appointment only. Um, the walk-ins after a while, you kind of don't have control of your day. You know what I'm saying? You tell people, you know, you open from nine till nine to six, right? Um, and as long as they end at a certain time, everybody will get cut that day. So if everybody in before that time, it's, it's some days it's cool, some days it's slow, some, day, some days you hoping more people will come in at the last minute. But some days you are, you are you, you're there and then at the last minute you get 10, 15 people all at once wanting to get a cut. Which is good for business, but when you have a family and other obligations and stuff like that, you can never really scope uh, your day. You know, some days you miss lunch. Some days you just behind the trial day long. So long story short, I'm just rambling for real. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to see if there is a difference and I wanted to take control of my day, right? So that's where I am. So this video, I'm just gonna show you a quick wrap around of the day or not the day, but the actual setup, all right? So let's get to that. So this is the actual setup going into my suite, suite 17. Open up, open up this sliding door here. And this is the setup. So this is everything from the outside. So we're just gonna come on in, close this up for now. I'm pretty much done for the day. Pretty much done for the day, so I just wanted to let me see if I can. So I just thought I'd just zoom out a little bit and show you the full setup. So my TV here, right? I have my cousin, my cousin from Grit and Grind. He has his own uh, handyman service. So he put up my TV for me. These are just scenes from my favorite movies. I am a, a comedy guy. So you got Dumb and Dumber, CB4, Friday, Life, right? So we're still setting up some things. But, you know, that's the entertainment. I got my refrigerator here that will have waters for all the clients. Um, we're going to get a, a table, kind of set that up, change that up. My waiting chair, of course. And then this is my, it's my computer bag. It has nothing to do with nothing, but this is where dirty towels. I got my stand here that I also did have at Diamond Cuts. Decided to bring it here. It's a lot of cabinetry already in here but this is some of the some of my extra stuff that some of the stuff needs still need to be cleaned up and set up the right way i got my towel warmer um my shelves here you can see my sign fell uh also added with everything else this is just this is just here for now so we're just still trying to set up everything 
and this is where I have everything at. As of right now, I am using the Tune 45 power strip, but I am waiting on a new uh, crazy good box to come in. Ring light, but my ring light will actually be hung up here, and then I'm gonna get another one to hang up here, give myself more light. All right, that's my chair. It's a nice chair, comfortable chair. Uh, actually, a buddy of mine had it for sale, so I just got it from him instead of me having to buy one and put it together. But of course, the setup, if y'all seen any suites, that's my business licenses and stuff. And we are, like I said, we are still trying to get some stuff set up. But as of right now, that's everything. And I like this for here, right? So right here, I lean the person back, boom, wash their hair, set them up, blow dry them, all that stuff. All right, so like I said, they got plenty of cabin, cabinet space, right? Plenty of cabinet space. Got my towels, my Sennet strips. And here we have a few uh, extra things, a few extra towels. That's some trash that need to go out from us cleaning up and getting everything together. Um, so pretty much that is my setup. Now, of course, we still have a few things that need to be uh, added, a few things that need to be. So I've been in here, like I said, a week. So I still do have a few things that I need to get set up and arranged the way I want them to be arranged. You know what I'm saying? So there we have it. Back to the camera, all right? So that's my setup. That's my setup in Solar Salon right now. So if y'all can't see all my light right now, and I, I do got it here. I do have some light, but it's facing towards my chair the way I cut. Uh, so yeah, that's all I wanted to show. Just give you something of what I've been going, what, what I've been having going on. Like I said, I had took like three weeks off of posting on uh, YouTube. So I just been focusing on that, all right? Getting, making sure that I was ready for the state inspection Make sure I have my business license ready. Um, opening up this suite is not like you just find your space. And if you're doing it legit anyway, it's not like you just find your space, um, get in there, start cutting, and like just pay booth rent. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's getting your business license. Um, since I'm in the city, county, whatever, I had to get county and city uh, a business license. I had to set up the inspection to get inspected. So they come in, they'll be mailing me my, my, my hundred grade. If you don't get a hundred on your first inspection, it's just, it's just something wrong. But it is kind of nerve wracking to, um, to hopefully you have everything the way that it's supposed to be set up. Like some stuff uh, supposed to be labeled and all that stuff. So yeah, so like I said, it's my first weekend. Still got a lot of learning to do. Still got some getting used to one of the main things I do miss is that barbershop atmosphere though, right? So when I was just, when I was first thinking about getting a suite and everybody was like, oh, you're gonna miss the, the barbershop atmosphere, blah, blah. At first I was like, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Of course I miss my guys, but that's cool. Sometimes I have my earphones in at work. Uh, of course you do get caught up in conversation, but sometimes you zone out and you be on your grind anyway. But it's still different when that conversation is not there you know what i'm saying like it's just non-existent of course you got other people around here you got uh, other barbers you got other stylists other massage therapists there's other people in here but when you're in your in your suite in your studio it's just you it's you and your client it's you and the the, the entertainment that you choose to have you get what i'm saying so um so far we good Again, of course, it's going to take some getting used to. And that just comes with um, not only changing different sceneries, but changing your your the, the way your mindset is. And so being in here, I have started to think about how I want to present myself. You get what I'm saying? Uh, you know, y'all, of course, y'all be on me about the haircuts and everything anyway. But when you're in here, you're on your own. You're building your business. And of course, when you're in a shop, depending on what kind of shop you're in, of course, I've built my brand the way I built my brand. But now it's different. I'm in my own space. There's no walk-in traffic. There's no time to get lackadaisical. You, you, you got to be on it. 
So whether you using social media, whether you still passing out business cards, no matter the, 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 the stream that you choose to promote, you have to be on top of that promotion. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, welcome to Cuts by Reggie Studio. I'll make another video. This is just to kind of tap in and say, hey, this is where I've been. And to show y'all how I got it now, to hopefully y'all see the growth. Actually, those, those pictures I was talking about, they actually just came in today. So I do have a few more that I want to get. Like I said, I'm a, I'm a comedy dude, I'm a music dude. So we'll see what we can add. It's still a small space, so you can't overdo it. I think this space is like 120 square feet, something like that. Um, they have bigger ones in here if you choose to, but this is what I chose for now, All right? And maybe later on I get a get my own shop, maybe open up a, another shop, maybe a barber school, maybe my own suites. Who knows? The the right now I'm going with the flow, and this is where the flow has taken me for now. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. One thing though. <laughs> one thing before I go first off if you're not subscribed please subscribe comment like share dislike the videos if you dislike the videos even if you still here if you still here say chunk the deuces in the comment chunk the deuces that means you support me right but one thing I have noticed you know when I'm doing clipper reviews and stuff like that you want to test the sound of clippers and stuff like that and when you in a barbershop atmosphere some stuff might not seem as loud when you in here and it's just you and your client some shit is very loud some shit is very loud you know what i'm saying but it's not, again it's not that big of a deal but you can notice it you can notice the difference when you so yeah i'm trying to get used to angles in here i just started getting used to haircut recording at that spot so now i gotta find the right spot here but we'll get it if you're not subscribed, please subscribe, comment, like, share, dislike the videos if you dislike the videos. Peace.